Hi everyone. In this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on how to make right destiny decisions. This video will bless you in no small way. Prepare to be blessed by this video production. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much and God bless you. Pastor, it's amazing the destiny decisions that people take laughing. They take it drinking minerals. I, I like this lady. Can I go and see your parents? And this gentleman wants to live for 40 years. It's not a degree that even if you don't like, you just close your eyes and do it and throw away the certificate. When Satan knows that Isaac is coming, he will push Hagar very fast because he knows if God wants to give you 20 million next week, the devil will give you 2 million now. Five, five naira. So that it looks plenty. Too distracting for you to go and say no. Our generation has lost the art of waiting until God. That's why we don't have convictions. Because you see, when you, when you get information from convictions, you will die there. I had God. I know what I saw. But this person you married, how come you don't have a child? I know what I had. I was not taking minerals. It was not in a beauty contest that I found her. I would die here. Marry another wife for where? The God that showed me that vision. Let that God bring the child. Conviction. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, the entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Are we together? But there are major decisions. Lord, who do I settle down for the rest of my life with? Lord, do I relocate in Lagos or go abroad? There are many people, the devil destroyed them by giving them visas. Are we together? They found their way out of the will of God. Just because a visa was stamped on their passport, they believed it was the will of God. It takes sensitivity to know what is favor and what is deception because they all look the same. Is God speaking to us tonight? Lord, do I get into ministry? Do I quit that job? Look, there are sensitive decisions in our lives that the, the entire relevance of our lives and destinies are tied to them. You don't make those decisions sleeping. When Jesus needed to select 12 men who would walk with him for three years and later become the apostles of the Lamb, that the foundations of the new heaven will be built after their names. That even the foundations of the new Jerusalem carries the name of the 12 apostles. The Bible says he stayed up night praying. Because with your eyes you will see Eliab and think he's the anointed of God. Do you know that walking in the flesh is the major reason why people never become relevant to a generation? The flesh is deceptive. The flesh will tell you this is God and everything in your life will prove that it is God until you wait. You will see the deception of the flesh. There is something about waiting, not just praying, waiting. Many pray, but we don't wait. To wait doesn't just mean to pray. To wait means to wait. Are we together now? Yes. Pastor, it's amazing the destiny decisions that people take laughing. They take it drinking minerals. I, I like this lady. Can I go and see your parents? And this gentleman wants to live for 40 years. It's not a degree that even if you don't like, you just close your eyes and do it and throw away the certificate. When Satan knows that Isaac is coming, he will push Hagar very fast because he knows if God wants to give you 20 million next week, the devil will give you 2 million now. Five, five naira. So that it looks plenty. Too distracting for you to go and say no. Our generation has lost the art of waiting until God. That's why we don't have convictions. 
because you see when you when you get information from convictions you will die there i had god i know what i saw but this person you married how come you don't have a child i know what i had i was not taking minerals it was not in a beauty contest that i found her i would die here marry another wife for where the god that showed me that vision let that god bring the child conviction today you see someone start a ministry and after two years or five members he just says look looks like that one i'll just go and add msc to my degree so that i can just get a job as though it was lack of a job that took him to the vineyard no conviction because we hardly respect the secret place many things happen there my brothers and my sisters hear me you never change a generation if you do not understand the power of waiting there are kairos seasons in our lives times every time in a student's life is required to be serious but when wayek is coming close he's not just serious it's an opportune time is with that result he can go to the university so it's true that he should read every day but during wayek you see students with all kinds of skills coffee um cold water and nobody tells them ah it's too much mm -mm. they say you better take that coffee and sit down and study because it's an opportune time listen not everything can be recovered at the same time listen listen some recoveries even if they come the challenges they have created is something you may have to live with forever Are we together now and it becomes more dangerous when you are a shepherd because you see it's easy to be a follower you just need to be sure and trust that the leader is hearing god if he throws you somewhere you call god and say lord i i follow this man diligently look at where he took me now but when you are a leader you have to be sure you are hearing god because you see there is a way that cement right unto a man but it is the end so you can be thinking you are right for 10 years then the 11th year you find out you are wrong but within those 10 years you have mentored people along your error and then by the 11th year you don't know how to turn now and start saying sorry yo hi so the boastful statement i made in year eight and nine was still a lie are we together now the bible says even the young men listen carefully even the young men will be weary the youth will utterly fall very critical decisions and we go on the internet what to do ministry or business enter and we smile and then we sit down and wonder why god cannot trust us with the grace for a generation listen it's one thing to have the anointing upon you as a believer it's another thing to have the anointing upon you according to the office that god has called you in but it's another thing to have the anointing for god's emphasis in a generation listen these are three levels of the anointing you can have the anointing as a believer you can have the anointing with your office but for every move of god god finds men who have aligned enough and there is a grace that's why i can be anointed but a season will come you know i'm not in god's program in that season i'm anointed but for whatever reason you know that in this season this man did not align himself to be featured in god's program is god speaking to us so when you see god corporately calling a church to pray and fast my brothers and my sisters it's not a time to mourn forget about what happens to your outward man you see we we are a very carnal generation and and it's not an insult it's a description is the reason why inconvenience tortures us too much 
just because you are losing weight just because of a little inconvenience just because there is no ac just because while you are worshiping your trouser tears you know all this we we are so embarrassed we carry our entire ego and put it upon it when a student is going to write exam if you are rushing to go and write your final paper and your wig removes and the door is about to be shut please talk to me intelligent people do you do you just turn and say ah, the gentlemen are going to laugh at me there is a desperation requirement that you must have for the gates of destiny to be open there is a a requisite level of desperation over god desperation that is greater than the comfort of your body desperation that is greater than the comfort of your belly desperation that is greater than your reputation desperation that is greater than name hmm. are we together so when you set yourself to seek his face the devil will bring all kinds of nuisances around your life oh a new movie just came out a new this and that and god says no remember you're in a season that person is not in their season so they can afford to be careless and play around but you are in a season while we're you know in the plane coming i was so tired I, I barely slept this morning and then we had to head for the airport and then i just laid down and the holy ghost spoke to me he said son you are entering your season of glory it's not for my word you can receive it but i'm telling you what god told me you see the moment god said that what do you think a wise christian should do just jump hallelujah no that you wore a good warfare because when that announcement comes the devil hears it too you are not the only one who had it and satan will say all right you are entering your season of glory what can we use to abort the seasons can be aborted yes sir the lord was in this place and i knew not we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.